everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I know I usually post a video real early in the morning. I was kind of thinking I'm just going to take a break. It is a holiday. And then I got the itch. So I got the itch to do a grand tableau on uh, Cohen. I don't think I've ever done one on Cohen and how he related to uh, 45. But here's my mystical kipper. And these are my mystical kipper cards. This is how I shuffle them because I do invert it. It gives me a little bit more information when I'm reading them. So I'm going to concentrate on Cohen. Because his book is coming tomorrow. I'm going to get it in the mail tomorrow. So I kind of wanted to see what the energy is the day before it all hits the public. All right. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy what I do. The Mystical Kipper Grand Tableau, I do nine across, four down, and I start reading the relationships to what is going on with the uh, cards. So one. Okay, so already 45 always shows up in the Kipper cards as this guy. And the main person I'm talking about is Cohen, which is inverted catty corner to 45, meaning their relationship is not good. Success and love upside down and bereavement. So dead relationship with 45 which they were in lo uh, in love with each other <laughs> and of course prison card for Cohen's right here rich girl long ways away Unexpected money in meetings. Work occupation, the White House. Court. Hmm. All right. So, hope you guys can all see this. I know the cards are really hard to see through what I do. And I've tried to do it any other way and it just doesn't work. So, <laughs> all right. So, like I said, 45 is right here. Cohen's right here. So, let's do let's do Cohen's um, cards. So, Cohen and, and the relationship with 45 has gone sour. Success and love is in inverted. And then we have bereavement. So, end. The end and the meetings. So end a meeting with uh, 45. This right here it says receiving a gift right next to 45. So Cohen is giving uh, 45 a, <laughs> a gift of hate is why it's inverted. So we have Cohen, a gift, rich girl, and sad news. He's going to give us news about some sort of uh, women or... The relationships with women, how many times he's probably cheated, how many times. I I have always had this intuition that he's going to talk about how many, like, abortions he he paid for. But I haven't read the book. <clears throat> I just had this feeling coming on. So let's go this way where it says um, his thoughts, gaining a lot of money because of his book, and Great Happiness, and Cohen. So, yeah. Because of his actions and his thoughts and what he knows, he's gaining a lot of money and great happiness because of it and success in, in that and meetings 
And this is a short illness, prison, he's already done that, and good lady, so it's inverted, so that could be anybody really. His thoughts, court person, and the child. I was wondering where the child was going to show up in all of this. Forty-five bereavement in the child. The child, short illness, military, and grief of an anniversary. Grief of a birthday, grief of an anniversary with this child, bereavement. Let's see, Cohen. Success and love meetings with child. Hmm. Home, his home. This is 45's row. For home, theft. The marriage card, um, receiving a gift which is inverted, which is he's not liking the book, of course. Bereavement to child, court, and his honor, lack of honor. So the child is definitely in the story somewhere, somehow. That's, that's a hard prediction, but I'm going to make it because that's how it feels. Pleasant letter about the about the White House. So Cole knows a lot about um, the White House and work occupation and how he worked. He knows a lot about how he was prior to. Gift, pleasant letter, and main person. Sad news, court, high emotions, grief of an anniversary. Is Cohen's wife not, him and his wife not doing very well? I see a girlfriend. That's just pure gossip. Okay, so grief of an average first person gaining thought. So here's Russia, which is inverted, and going forward, what he knows about about Russia, prison, Russia, the good lady, a journey. All of this is right here. It talks about Russia, going to prison. Because he knew about it. And then he's also going to talk up explicitly about why he lied in Congress. Oh, he, we're going to get the full-on, detailed, minute-to-minute -minute play on um, what happened and the reason why he lied in court. That's exactly what this says. Prison, the reason why he was in prison. Good, um, good lady, talking about whoever was involved in uh, a journey in, uh, in Russia. He's going to tell everything. False person and gloomy thought. It's all right here. It's going to be in detail. That's good to know. I want to know that. Let's see if there's anything else. The marriage card. He's going to talk about um, 45's marriages. See here? He, how he had to fix all of his, uh, all of his uh, receiving. He, he had to fix all of his marriages and all of his uh, little playing that he did. All of 45's uh, affairs. He was definitely a fixer on that. And he's going to talk about it. And he's going to tell everything. Yeah, marriage, marriage card theft, which is cheating, and home life. He's oh, he, Cohen's book is going to give us everything. Cohen is not holding back whatsoever. If there's a story, even if he is caught up in it, even if he had criminal um, for, uh, for him, he's willing to go back to prison just to put this book out out of revenge to forty five. Good for him. You know, it's just like being, it's like doing a 12-step program. This is his, uh, this is his fourth step. 
<laughs> and then, or his fist step, getting it all out there. <laughs> all right, very cool. All right, so now that we know what's going to happen and what all of uh, Cohen's books about, before we get it, before the public gets to read it, interesting. All right. Now I would like to do a few more. And I'm going to do 45, of course, at the end, see how he feels about Cohen's book. And while I remember, Wednesday at 5 o'clock Mountain Time, going live with um, Nina from Nine's Corner, we're going to do tea time with Nina at five o'clock um, live on Wednesday. So put that in your calendar. I think I'm gonna use these. Put that in your calendar that we're gonna go live. I have a list here. Let's see. We could always do, um, I wanna know, I have since the moment she got up there, I've wanted to know why Tiffany was willing to talk and, and do the RNC with her, for her for her father or a father who has paid less than you know than what he should to keep her afloat and has paid very little attention to her. why would she do it I want to know so I am going to get out my this are, these are the cards that I'm using they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I want to find out why did King of Pentacles, <laughs> money, 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 money. You know, she probably does have a whole bunch of bills and a whole bunch of uh, college that she needs to get paid. Maybe she thought, I have to look out for myself. But King of Pentacles popped out, so we're going to use that for that. Let's see what we have here. Lovers. The Tower. The love for her father is a tower moment over top of her. She, does, she hopes he loses. Ten of Wands. The Empress. The Hierophant. Chariot, Karma, <clears throat> Justice, and the Knight of Cups. So she did it for money. But truthfully, the reason, the reason why is she gets lovers right here and then the tower moment over top of her. So she's hoping for the tower moment for her father. The Empress, the wife, I'm pretty sure this is her mother, who come in and says, yeah, do it because we need to get your uh, stuff paid for. Do it for the money. And then the Hierophant is that she prays that he doesn't win. Because how that is the Ten of Wands down here and the Chariot, quickly, out. He needs to be out. And then, of course, we have the Wheel of Fortune, is what she's thinking. <clears throat> And then the Five of Wands. The Five of the five of Wands has a lot to do with um, challenges, obstacles, and things like that. But Justice shows up. And then we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of, the Knight of Cups has a lot to do with, you know, being charming. And, and she, just, she just did what she had to do. She just did what she had to do. And it felt good to her. It feels like she felt a part of, you know, even though her, her father is as terrible as he is, she kind of felt like the Four of Cups. She, she felt a part of. You know, she has emotions too. The Knight of Pentacles, but it was about money. And then we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is withdrawal and retreat. She doesn't want anything to do with that. She needed the money. She needed to pay off some things. She she definitely felt a part of when it happened. So. And the Queen of Cups. She is not exactly like his other children. 
She has a conscience. She has feelings. She wasn't raised with him. So she has a different outlook on life. But she's still young. She's still a Trump. She went up there and spoke. I'm not saying that you should have compassion for her because she she had a choice. She has a she had a decision. She could have stand she could have stood for her ground and stood up for principle, but she didn't. I get it. Okay. So let's do let's do Elaine Cho. Let's do Elaine Cho. We haven't done uh, Elaine Cho in quite some time. Let's see where she is at. Let's see what's going on with her because she kind of went silent. She kind of went silent. So let's see what how her how her marriage is doing. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, which is uh, multitasking. And then we have the Three of Cups. Circle of Support, Five of Pentacles, she's going broke. The Magician, she's trying to float. Five of Swords is really what's happening. Five of Swords is coming out. Lost Regret, Grief, Feeling Horrible. Five of Swords, the Five of Swords, just fighting the battle, feeling like she's losing. The Four of Pentacles is weird, to say the least, but I guess it's like greed. I guess um, Four of Pentacles can be about greed. Gimme, 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 gimme. Because Five of Pentacles, she's losing money. She's... Whatever her, her base is or whatever whatever she's doing, she's definitely losing. Ooh, death. The ending. She's going. Ending. The ending either of her relationship, ending of her, uh, all of her things. All of her choices, all of her abundance, her marriage, her job. Because death comes before the Seven of Cups. Everything that she has, that she thinks she has abundance of, is she's losing. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Why do we have a Nine of Wands? Mm. That's interesting to me. So she's keeping up face. She's keeping up her whoever she is. She's trying not to let it out. She's trying to hide all of the chaos and all of the pain and all of the worry inside of her. What is the final outcome? The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, enjoying your employment. She wants to enjoy her employment. She isn't. She's enjoying her new prospects. This doesn't make any sense. Five of Wands shows up. Let's see what we have here. Two of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So she's putting up a delusion that she is enjoying her work so that she doesn't get fired. That's the reason why that looks the way it does. It is like a magician. So the magician shows up, you know, like the right here. Everything is fake. That's the reason why um, the magician showed up under the illusion and delusion. But everything she's losing everything. Her, her career, her her uh, her marriage, everything, all of her abundance is going away because of Five of Pentacles on this level. But she's faking it. All right, a little bit of information about little uh, Elaine Cho. Let's do forty-five. See how he is feeling on the. Cohen Book Eve. Cohen's Book Eve. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cohen Book Eve for this little monster. I'm also going to put out a, uh, a little video about all of my cards so that you can get a look at them. Still feel the 
knee dash. There we go. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Hangman. Choices. Whew, cutting through the truth. Ironically, the, the strangest part about all of these is Seven of Wands and Seven of Pentacles is luck. And then we have the Page of Pentacles where he, t he, he knows how far back he can go in his life. The Four of Wands shows up, which is, you know, not so bad either. Like, Cohen and him used to be, like, considered family. The world... They had the world at their hands, like the wor he's the hangman. He is actually feeling torn. I know that 45 doesn't have very many emotions, and he doesn't have very many friends, but I think he really considered Cohen a friend, and that's the reason why Cohen is so in pain and in the revenge mode, because Cohen and him actually were closer than what they're telling. But he, he knows that Cohen can cut through and tell the truth. Because the Ace of Swords and he knows it. This is, this is really something that I haven't seen with 45 at all. Uh, is, is the... They were close friends. As much as he can be a friend and Cohen. But they considered each other family and he's... He, Seven of Swords. So, he knows of all of his theft, his betrayal. He knows everything. Cohen knows everything. Everything that went on, all of the, the fake money, the abundance, everything. He knows everything because they were family. He considered them, he, as if he was going to call him, if, if, if 45 ever said the word BFF prior to, it would have been Cohen. We always thought it was Stone, but it's actually Cohen. The Four of Cups and then the Ace of Cups. Absolutely. Absolutely the emotions that are um, flowing right now. So 45 is in a really, really odd place in his emotions right now with Cohen and his book coming out. Knowing that he knows everything. But it's really not upsetting him as much as it should be upsetting him. It's like watching BFFs fight. That was strange. I'm going to do another um, card with my haunted house deck and see. But that was the that was um, unexpected, to be honest. I'm not asking you to have compassion for 45 because there's no reason to. But that was odd. Let me see what's going on elsewhere. See what's going on. Ace of Pentacles, of course. Two friends talking. The Republicans. The evil things that they used to do. The abundance that they used to have. Hangman comes up again. And then Eight of Swords all tied up. So this is the other side of it where, and the, of course, the Five of Swords is at the bottom. The Five of Swords <laughs> is never good. Loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, all of it. Five of Swords. I mean, weird is this all is, people, as little as this monster's heart is. 
Cohen's Cohen and what he's doing in Cohen's book is getting to him the most. Because he considered Cohen a best friend. Way more than Stone. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. How is 45's base going to handle Cohen's book? Let's see about that. One more, and then we'll go. I want to see how 45's base is going to handle the, uh, the information in Cohen's book. It's almost like the words come out of their mouths on a regular basis. I don't care what they find on him. We're still voting for him. The devil. They know he is. The Queen of Cups, you know, they've got that intuitive, creative vision and stuff like that. But they know uh, what they're putting in there. They're the fools. Queen of Swords. Trying to make the Ten of Swords. And the Magician. The Magician is that they're still under a delusion even though another spike in their uh, belief systems. But you know, I felt a great big old huge shift uh, when they came out with what he was talking about with the military. I felt that like in the middle of the night, I felt that whole energy shift again away from 45. He lost a lot of people, especially uh, military members. He really did. And it, was, it sounds like, yeah, right, but I felt as an empath, and I'm pretty sure if you check with any of your other empaths that you watch, they have also literally have felt that shift again. I felt it a couple of times, and, and I did with this one too, where it has shifted again to uh, Biden and away from 45. And it was, it's a really good feeling of a, a feeling of a shift. So just know that we talk to your empaths, that they... Uh, one will keep a tab on what they're feeling, but I really did feel it. All right, everyone. Happy holiday. Uh, what is today? Labor Day? I hope you're not doing much. <laughs> Thanks.